Welcome to episode 11 of Vinland Saga. Thorkel has Prince Canute with him and is going after the main army. We have Askeladd and Thorfinn and all of them who are going to go join in the battle too and see uh, what they can do, just get the prince and then see who pays the most for him. So we'll see what happens. I'm excited to see more of Thorkel. So we're going to watch it and discuss. Got the timer and subtitles on the screen if you want to follow along. Or you can pull up the episode on your own. But either way, we're starting at the very beginning with the Wit Studio logo. So let's get into it in three, two, one, play. So yeah, I really want to see more Thorkel. He's very entertaining. And more of the prince. He hasn't said anything yet? I don't think he's had a single line. Hasn't done anything. We've just had people talk about him. And he got captured. And I want to know what's going on there. And then, of course, see what Askeladd and all them do. You know, we just had our fight with Thorfinn and Thorkel, so... Am I going to fight again? Is it going to go any differently? <laughs> yeah, he did a good job. He did okay, but... You know, he was pretty outmatched. But, while the OP is playing. Let me say that if you enjoyed these videos, subscribe to the channel. New Vinland Saga episodes come out every Tuesday, along with other videos every single day of the week. Also, check out the description down below. You got Twitter and Discord if you want to hang out there, and Patreon if you want to support the channel and get these videos a week early, or even earlier than that, get uh, vlogs and polls and all that stuff, so thank you. Yeah, we're almost halfway through, so we might be getting a new OP and an ED soon, which is sad, because I like the OP and the ED, but we'll see what we get. I'm excited for the story to come, too. See where it goes. I have no idea. Okay, here we go. Episode 11. Nice fall weather, which is what I want to happen here soon. I want the heat to go away and to get some of this. So Thorkel's just relaxing on the road. As somebody said that uh, in the manga, it's apparently clarified at one point that Thorkel is seven foot seven. Which, Jesus, fuck. <laughs> like, I knew he was tall, but... God, like, that makes sense now. Why he towers over everybody. Oh, hello. Well, okay, then. <laughs> yeah, those, those Christian women. Yeah, these guys just hanging out, having fun on the road. Ah, uh, yes. Those damn rules. Don't want to follow that shit. That guy. <laughs> Solid criticism. I don't believe in Christianity because Jesus just looks fucking weak, man. <laughs> Thor versus Jesus. Death battle. If Thor can fight Thanos, he can fight Jesus. I put my money on Thor. But yeah, seven foot seven, like now the nickname really makes a lot of sense. And why he's so fucking strong. They're just having fun. They're just goofing around on their little journey here. With the prince in tow. I don't think he'll speak. They're just messing around. He was praying before, so, you know, that's about all we've gotten from him. <laughs> I 
Yeah, it's like, yeah, you're no fun. Yeah, I mean, that's the means to an end. He wants a big battle, and the taking the hostage was the way to get that to happen. So he's willing to do it. Yes, he just wants King Swine to notice him, Senpai. That's what's happening. He wants to get his attention. A little. Yeah, that's kind of their thing. It's uh, quite a bit outmatched. Oh, really? Yeah, that's what they aim for. And that's why he craves battle so much. you got to be a great warrior. And death in battle is a great thing for them. Yeah, he wants like a good challenging battle to show his to show his might. <clears throat> Which must be hard considering his size. It's probably been hard for him to find challenging battles, so he really has to go out of his way to make it happen. Uh, okay. All right, well, this guy's seeing some shit. <laughs> but I guess he just needs his booze. All right, man. It, it, it's not... It, okay. Uh, all right, is he good? Okay, he settled down. He got him the booze. He was seeing Jesus. He just needed his booze. It's fine. Well, I think he's a little biased in that, don't you think? Okay, that's all he cares about. That's all that matters. Uh, didn't Jesus turn water into wine? So I guess that's why he's a devout priest. And they're like, all right, we can agree with that, sure. All right, so uh, see if we have a, a 300 situation. Although they did all die. So, you know. Got somebody somewhere. Oh shit. <laughs> how far is this fucking... <laughs> like, how fucking far is that gonna go? And then it's just sailing along. Right into this dude's face. <laughs> Perfect accuracy, too. Two thousand? Not enough. Nah, the great Captain Usopp. He does not seem worried at all. Yeah, there they are, right there. Um, <laughs> you think it's going well for you? They're just going to, like, hand them over? Well, I mean, I guess technically they are. But then I'll say also they're going to kill you. They don't want to keep them. They don't care. They were just to have them to get... Look at how fucking wide he is. 
they were just had him to get your attention, and they have it, so yeah, we'll hand him over, and then we'll kill you all, and we'll take him back and get the attention of even more. You probably should do it. You should probably retreat. You got what you came for. <clears throat> You'll live, maybe. He's right. He's just going to bait them. He's just going to bait the hell out of them. And it's going to work. <clears throat> We're going to get to see the scene that's in the OP a little bit of him just destroying dudes with his axes. Yeah, they're not, they're, nope, nope, they've got too much pride, they're not gonna back down, he's got two fucking axes, he's got a hell of a reach, and you, nah. Alright, here we go. Well, you fucked up today, pal. Oh yeah, you, okay, let's watch some, <laughs> let's watch some Thorkel slaughter. I don't even care about the other... 499 of his men, like, I, I think he's fine on his own. Alright, so they're nearby, and yeah, you can just, you can just hear it. You don't need to listen to the ground. It, oh my god! <laughs> he's just a fucking, he's just, oh my god, he's just through the fucking tree in half, and that guy, he's, he's literally mowing them down. It's just a human lawnmower. Jeez, he just has to, and then they, everyone just dies. You don't need everybody out. He's fine by himself. Like, uh, is that right? Well, then they're even dumber. Like, I thought they were at least being overconfident because they had the numbers advantage, but they didn't even have that. So they really just got baited and thought they could win like a bunch of dumbasses. So we just got hundreds of people just dropping dead right here now. Fire. All right, smart move, guys. You can't just face Thorkel directly. Like I said, just having a rematch wouldn't really work. And it would be kind of weird for the story since we just had a fight. But yeah, thinking smart, ask a lad. Set this whole place on fire now. It's right there. Thorkel is so tall that the smoke doesn't even affect him. He just stands above all of it. Oh yeah, it's he knows that it was... I mean, that's pretty obvious. No. There's a third party involved. No, yeah, thank you. So everything's really dry. And that one uh, would probably suck. Well, I don't know about boring. You scream and flail around. It's probably fairly exciting. It's just really painful and shitty. No, Thorkel will not die from that. Oh, okay. Send Thorfinn in. There you go. Get him wet. Send him into the into the blaze. 
What about the horse? Pour some water on the horse. All right, Thorfinn, go get the prince. There you go. They always send him in first. Isn't the horse going to be, like, afraid of the fire? It's going to be hard to navigate a horse through that, isn't it? Maybe not. I don't know. He's just going right through. Nah, this is better. That's not even. 500, 499, and 4 coal. 500. That side wins. <laughs> then there's that. Don't want them to take the prize. And that too. When we do it this way, if shit goes south, nobody has to know we were here. I'm sure he does. Yeah. He is easy to use. And um, if he dies, then like so be it. But he knows that like, he's, he's obviously proven himself. He can't deny through all their experiences that Thorfinn can get this stuff done. So yeah, he trusts that he can do it. Yeah, really. You should be, though. How you doing? You okay there under that mask? No opinion? Anyway. This seems like it's clearly a trap. Like, there's... You just signaled your location. Yeah, there you go. I mean... <laughs> Hello? What? <laughs> If I, the most battle experience I have is uh, sitting in this chair, battling with my computer, and I figured that out, you dumb bastards. Oh, the horse is on fire. The horse, the horse, the horse is on fire. But yeah, you just fucking were like, hey, we're right over here, the prince is over here. It's a fucking... You deserved that entirely. You fucked up. That was really stupid. <laughs> but Thorfinn is here, so he's going to get to fight some guys. And while they're busy talking and underestimating him, he's going to kill them. Th th holy shit. Oh, damn, just like that. Okay, there you go. I've come, come to kidnap you away from your kidnappers. I don't know, he doesn't seem to want to. He doesn't seem to have an opinion on anything. Oh shit, he's here. <laughs> I was thinking like, well, as long as Thorkel's not here, he can kill all these guys and win. But uh, that's dangerous. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't really seem to have uh, affected you much. Yeah, now that he knows who he is, like, things are different. Yeah, he doesn't need an answer. I think he knows. That's right.
Helga. Yeah, he knows him. What do you think about that, Thorfinn? And they all know about him. Wow, that's high praise. Um, well, not anymore, though, but, I mean, holy shit, like, if you say he's stronger than you, then I can't really imagine. Everything's on fire, though. Like, this is uh, not the time for this conversation. <laughs> Poor guy. Okay. No, uh, no rematch. Okay. You take him. We're all headed to the same place, so uh, we'll meet again. We'll see what happens. Well, that ended more smoothly than I thought. He only had to kill the one guy. We didn't have any Thorkel interference, and he hands over the prince. That uh, went fairly swimmingly. Considering you got Thorkel and a raging fire, there's like a lot of danger there. Random guys who didn't even realize, oh, okay, <laughs> they just didn't even realize where they were walking next to, and then they die. Yeah, he'll be here. There you go. Mission accomplished. How many men did you have left? feel like they, yeah, either they had killed them all or most... Or they would have after the fact. Okay. Here we are with, uh, with the prince. We have him now. Maybe he can finally speak. Okay, I guess we're going to see his face. Um, I don't know what there is to see unless he's got like some weird scar up there or something. Or he's got a weird nose. But he finally gets to take off the mask. That's a little bit of progress, I guess. He's very, uh, very effeminate. I don't think he's, like, literally, secretly a girl. I think he just is kind of girly looking. Okay, well, we get to see the full face, at least. Maybe he can become a real character soon. I don't know. That would be good. But uh, for now, let's talk about that episode. All right, episode 11. Apologies for the audio. Um, I just realized after I finished recording the reaction, I was editing that part of the video before coming back to film the discussion that it was picking up my webcam's audio and not my microphone, so it didn't sound the best. Hopefully it's listenable and okay, and I apologize, but, you know, shit happens, and I will try to be more careful. That's like the first time that's happened, so, at least in quite a long time. But, uh, either way, we have episode 11, which is a very simple one. Thorkel and his guys going along, traveling with the prince towards the main army, just kind of palling around, goofing off with each other, and then just the little prince rescue operation, which goes very simply, actually. 
not a lot to it, but I'm very much looking forward with uh, to what's to come after this. But for what it was, it was still good. It was entertaining. I really liked Thorkell and his guys just going along the road, talking, goofing around with each other, talking about religions, <laughs> about uh, Christianity and their gods and everything and comparing them and just trying to get the prince to talk and chime in because I really want to see what's going on with the prince. I really want to know more about him and everything. And you've got the, the drunk priest who just needs his booze and whatnot. And, you know, uh, I don't even care about this whole Christianity thing because this fucking guy, he looks weak. He's skinny as shit. I bet Thor could beat his ass. <laughs> That's just really funny. And uh, whichever one made booze, which again, you know, Jesus has the whole, like, water into wine thing, so if you want to go with that, maybe they haven't heard about that part. Maybe they'll convert to Christianity when they hear that. I don't know, maybe wine isn't good enough. But uh, that was fun, like, all oh, the Christian women, and I don't want to have to play by all those rules and whatnot. I'm not into that whole thing, but it was a fun scene of them talking and how he was like, Oh, notice me, King of Swine, and whatnot. But uh, then we get into the actual battle, and we get some brutal shit, because Thorkel's involved, so of course you're going to. I wasn't sure how this was going to play out, because I'm like, are we really going to have a rematch again? Like, for the story, we just had this fight. Are we going to have Thorfinn fight Thorkel again? Not only would it be kind of weird pacing-wise, but also just, how would it be any different? <laughs> like, Thorkel is still 27 feet tall, and still super strong, so like, what's Thorfinn going to do? Of course, if we had had a really cool fight between the two of them in the middle of a burning forest, that would have been a really cool set piece. And you could have used the environment in a fun way. So it's a little disappointing that we didn't get it, but it makes sense that we didn't get a rematch so quickly. It, it went way smoother than I thought it would. You know, Thorfinn lands in the middle of those guys. I thought he's going to have to kill all these guys. He only had to kill one. But hey, at least Thorkel's not here, so it's not too much of a problem. Then he comes in and it's like, oh shit. But... No, it, uh, it ends very kind of anticlimactically, like purposefully, which makes sense just because of who Thorkel is and because of the connection uh, between the two of them now that he knows who Thorfinn is and he, he talks about that a little bit. That was nice. It makes sense that he would do that, that he would just hand over the prince like, hey, we're going to the same place anyway, so we'll see what happens. See how it goes in the future. So yeah, I can't wait to see that how that plays out because I really want to see more of the prince. I want to know more about him. See how he gets along with like Thorfinn and all these guys. What they do when they get to the main army because of course they're just in it for themselves. Like whatever's going to benefit them the most is what they're going to do with the prince and then you'll have Thorkel coming in too. So yeah, I, I want to see where all that goes. But yeah, uh, Thorkel talking to Thorfinn about Thors is nice. I would really like time to have a longer conversation between the two of them. Seeing Thorkel in battle is really fun, but I would really like to hear them be able to talk about that kind of thing more. It's just we haven't had time for that yet. We're in the middle of a big fire. We're in the middle of a big battle. We don't have the time for it, but it's cool. It would have been interesting in the manga, because by this point in the manga, since it started with Thorfinn being older rather than starting with the flashbacks, I don't know if the flashbacks had happened yet. Presumably not. So... Hearing him, if you were reading the manga, say, Oh, Thor's was the only man stronger than me. You'd be like, whoa, what the fuck? But since we've seen the anime and already seen the flashbacks, we're like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's still extremely high praise coming from him. And, you know, we knew Thor's was really strong, but for him to specifically say, stronger than me, that's still really cool. But it's mostly like, yeah, yeah, I know. He, he was really badass. Absolutely. But, uh, yeah. Thorfinn kind of gets it easy, because they let him take the prince. But uh, other than that, Thorkel was really cool fighting all the other guys. Like, yeah, hand over the prince and Ragnar, because we don't care about having them. We'll hand them over to you, but also we're going to kill all you guys right after and take them back anyway, so it's fine. That first guy who just got the spear, <laughs> great, and then he just... He was, it was a fucking lawnmower. He was just mowing them down. He's got insane reach, he's got these two long-ass axes and just tearing down, like... They kept talking about, like, oh, we got 500 people. It's like, you don't even matter. You just need one. You just need him. <laughs> I don't know why the other guys thought they could do it. I knew they were going to bait them. It's like, okay, you guys are just too prideful for this, and you're going to fall for it, and they did. I at least thought that they were confident because they had the numbers advantage, but no, they only had 400. They had less. Thorkel counts for 500 by himself, so... They were just stupid. They just got baited into it and died and all Thorkel by himself just running down these guys. It was fucking crazy. 
very fun to see. And then at the end, when uh, Ragnar and the guy are like, Oh, hey, we're over here. His Highness is over here. Hello. <laughs> that was genuinely really stupid. And any consequences that would happen because of it is entirely your fault. No sympathy for you whatsoever. That was just fucking dumb. Why would you think that was a good idea? You really thought that was good to signal the location of the prince? You didn't think that could be a trap at all? Or even if that wasn't a trap, anybody nearby could hear. Whoever that guy was, he's fucking dead now, so it doesn't matter, but... Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Also, uh, Askeladd sending Thorfinn in. Just him being sent into the fire is pretty cool. Askeladd being like, yeah, well, you know, I, uh... Got somebody that I can easily use. I know exactly how to use him. How to kind of get him to do what I need done. If he dies, you know, like, so be it. But also, he does trust him. It really can't help it at this point. Like, he's proven himself time and time again. He's been with him for so long, and he's always pulled through. So he knows that he can trust him to go do these things. For sure. Like, they have developed some kind of genuine relationship. Uh, it's very different, depending on who you ask. Like, who you asked between the two of them how they felt about the other one, but... Yeah, the way Askeladd views Thorfinn is very interesting, and he obviously does trust him to get this stuff done, and he understands that he is a capable warrior. And I like the strategy in general, like just going in to fight Thorkel, no. Teaming up with Ragnar's men, no. We'll set a fire, we'll be smart about it, makes sense to me, I think that's the best plan. Also, like he said, Ragnar's men would have just taken the reward, and also, if uh, some shit goes down, if we burn the prince, uh, we were never here. Hopefully we get some really good battles going forward from here on out, some really large-scale conflict that Thorkel would really love, because they were talking about that, and just their Viking warrior beliefs and their pride and desire to get to Valhalla to prove themselves and die on the battlefield, and how, you know, the bigger and crazier the conflict, the better. The better the fight, the more you can prove yourself to gain a spot as like a hero in Valhalla forever or whatever. So this is why he's searching for these big, tough battles so extensively. And being somebody who's so freakishly big and strong, it's probably hard for him to find a good opponent and a good challenge. So he really has to go out of his way to engineer one, join the side that's doing worse on purpose so you can have a good big battle, so you can get your eternal Valhalla reward. But yeah, we got the prince's uh, reveal of the face at the end. It revealed literally nothing. Like, you can see his face already. I mean, like, you could already tell what he looked like, <laughs> right? I, I certainly could. You could already see most of it, and you get the general gist of it. I'm like, okay, is he gonna have, like, a weird scar up here? Or... No, it's just, yeah, he, he's pretty girly looking, and then we see that, yeah, he's pretty girly looking. Like, it, it's really not a reveal at all, but... Either way, I just want to know more about him as a person. He's been so quiet this entire time, he hasn't said anything. At all. Ragnar got mad for him, and he's like, why does the prince never get to choose? Which is interesting, how Ragnar feels about the prince and just anything that's been said about the prince. But I want to hear from the prince himself. What's going on in there? Does he have any opinions on any of this? Does he have some kind of secret strategy going on in there? Is he totally oblivious to anything? Is he stupid? Is he smart? Like, what's, what's up with him? I want to know more about Prince Canute. And they're all like, holy shit, he's hot. So hopefully now that he's here, we can have some people who might force him to say something. I don't know, now that he's here with the main characters, maybe he can bond with Thorfinn or something. I don't know, I just want to know more about him. I'm actually a little bit more interested in that right now. I definitely like to get to some big battles and see more of Thorkel mowing dudes down, but right now I'm a little more intrigued by the prince. I just want to know more about him and what he's like and what his role in the story will be. So yeah, um, I hope to see more of him and more of that next time. So for now, let me know your thoughts on this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe. If you'd like to see more, check out the links down in the description below. Really appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.